And you wanna say yo, you're the bun? Why did you say it? <laughs> anyway, Chanun, Marilyn Nimida, Prigo, Shanika Nimida. Okay, welcome back to my channel. Um, that's about as much as my Korean goes so far. But um, we're gonna be going to Korea in about, I think it's three weeks now. Yeah, South Korea. We're gonna be going to South, not North, Korea in about three weeks. Mm -hmm. And um, I put up a blog post just explaining the reason why, um, sort of the reason why we decided to go. I thought we might as well do this video, like a prep video, and just to sort of answer the question, why South Korea? Why are we deciding to go to South Korea? Because I know every time that someone asks me, so where are you going? And I'm like, I'm going to South Korea. Their face is like, <gasps> are you sure? Well. Are you sure you want to go to South Korea? And I'm like, yeah. So I thought we might as well just do this video, just to sort of, lay out the reasons why we actually decided to go to South Korea. So do you want to start with your reason? Oh, my reason. Actually, a friend got me into South Korea about four years ago. Again, the first drama I ever watched was Playful Kiss. Okay. And since then, I've always loved the K-drama. Not such a big fan of K-pop, big fan of K-dramas. And I just thought, I have to go to this place. I have to go and see what it's about. Do you understand? I love the culture. I love the food. Actually, we tried the food here. It's really nice. It's really good. And I just wanted to go and see. It's, and it's like other end of the world and I like traveling. And I don't want to just stay in your usual mm. Europe, been to Spain. I just want to go be adventurous to another place. So, mm. yeah. Okay, so my reason, Shanika actually introduced me to South Korea. Again, I think the first was drama I watched. Yeah, it was you. Really? Yeah, it was you, yeah. It was you. I think the first drama that I watched was um, Playful Kiss as well. They and, all got into Playful yeah, Kiss. Yeah, it was one of our friends that actually firstly introduced us to all of it. Not mm -hmm. gonna mention her name because she's probably gonna kill me if I do. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she introduced us to it. Mm -hmm. And then, so yeah, Shanika introduced me to that K-drama. So I watched it, really, really liked it. And then- um, You actually stayed up until like 6 a.m. Yeah, can you imagine? Stayed up till about 6 a.m. and I had work. No, it wasn't 6 a.m. I stayed up till about five and I had to wake up at six to go to work. So literally I didn't sleep. Mm -hmm. So um, I hope my manager, my previous manager doesn't watch this, but there was no one in the office on that day. So I, lit I literally did like a bit of work and then I locked the door <laughs> and then I fell asleep for most of the day, but <laughs> that was naughty of me. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that was the first show that I watched and I really liked it. And then I watched a couple more shows and I was like, oh, I want to find out more about this country. So that's what I did. I did some research about the country, really liked their culture. And then um, was it you that found the restaurant in New Morden? Yeah, it was me. Because yeah. I, like, I really wanted to try food. To try I don't know, but if you watch Korean dramas, there's always a scene with food, and you're always like, and it looks so good, and I was like, no, I need to try it, I need to try it, I need to try it. No, it does look good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so she found a restaurant in New Morden. That restaurant is top notch. So we went to that restaurant, really, really enjoyed the food. And um, yeah, and then the more like, I watched like their drama and stuff. I really like their language. I don't know what it is about it, but I really, really like their language. So I actually would love to learn their language. So then I just thought, why not go to the country? You know, I'm interested in their culture. I'm interested in their language. I really love their food. Mm -hmm. Why not go to the country? Mm -hmm. There's no harm in going. And I love to travel anyway. Mm -hmm. So we, we were debating and we were thinking about it. You know, yeah, maybe we should go. Maybe we should go. You know, the, th the things that you sort of think, oh, maybe we should do it, but you never get around to do it. So yeah. one day we were at my house and we just booked the flight and then we were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're actually going to South Korea. We're actually going to South Korea. No, we're actually, actually we actually going. talked about it for quite a bit because yeah. I actually wanted to go, but then nobody actually wanted to go with me. Mm. Everybody's like, yeah, let's crazy, do it, crazy. let's do it. And then we were just like, okay, let's do it. No. But then obviously, like my name, she likes to travel, so she was like, let's go. Yeah. We did have another friend who was supposed to come, but obviously it didn't work out, but we all wanted to just go back in. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to it, I really am. I mean, obvious thing, we know we're both black, we're both dark skinned, so we know we're gonna stand out like a sore thumb. But and I actually like that. that. That makes me actually a little bit nervous, to be quite honest with you, because it's gonna make me uncomfortable if people are staring at me at all the time, and you know, you're like the center of attention all the time, because I don't really like to be the center of attention. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, that doesn't make me feel like I don't wanna go, 
because it's a different experience. It's, and it's to be expected, you know, in a country where majority of people look exactly the same, and it's only like recently that more foreigners are starting to go, it's to be expected. So I'm not, I'm not shocked. I'm not like, I'm not gonna be like, oh my gosh, they were staring at me, none like that, because I know, I know to expect it, but I know it will make me feel a little bit uncomfortable. I know. Um. I think I'm looking forward to it because I think people are curious because I know when I'm curious, I stare a lot. Yeah. I act like I'm staring, but I'm actually like, I look. But mm. I actually like it. So I understand people staring for me, so it's not a problem. The only thing I think is really scary for me is just going to a different place. I think going to any different place, I feel a bit scared. Yeah, every minute she's asking me like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Because when we're meant to meet some people whilst we're there, like, man, are you sure? Like, you haven't told them when we're arriving, we're, you, know, you haven't told them where we're staying, right? Why would I even tell them where we're staying? No, but that's so the Jamaican. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. My mum is like that. Even when we go to Jamaica, we don't even tell our families that we're going to Jamaica. No. We just say, like, yeah, we're here. So I think that's that bit of Jamaica. Yeah. And I think another question that I know other people will have is, Obviously, we've heard in the news recently, this year, is we're in 2017, just in case someone is watching this in the future <laughs> or something. But we've heard the news that's going on, you know, America, North Korea, mm -hmm. crazy diplomatic, you know, yeah, everything that's going on there. Mm -hmm. So everyone's like, oh my gosh, are you sure? Are you guys not scared to go there? First of all, we're not going to North Korea. We're going to South Korea. Korea. The amount of time people have actually asked me that, because at work they know that I'm going to South Korea and they found it actually really, really interesting. So there's this guy, not going to name his name, just in case he's stumbling across <laughs> this video and be like, Shadika. <laughs> but he's Polish, he's really outgoing, he likes to travel as well, and he came up to me and he's like, Shadika, did you not hear what's happening in South Korea? I was like, North Korea. And he was like, but still, you know, are you sure? And I'm like, it doesn't matter where we are in the world, anything can always happen. Mm. We're in London, if anywhere, anything can happen. Yeah. That's not going to stop me from enjoying myself. Yeah. And you know, the thing that makes me feel even more at peace is, I mean, when you watch the media, obviously the media, you know, they love propaganda. Mm -hmm. So they make everything seems like, seem even worse than it actually is. So, oh my gosh, possibly a war's gonna happen between South Korea and North Korea, and America's doing this and that and all of these things. And then you go to the Korean news website, and it's like they hardly mention it yeah literally like it'll be there okay so um um president trump said this or north korea said this mm -hmm. well in other news this celebrity released this music single this week it's like and in, and what even when you see like the korean people mm -hmm. and even if you see like people that live there that you know they're so calm they're going about their life like absolutely nothing is happening and plus at the end of the day we prayed about this before deciding to go yeah. there we're praying about it until we get there. We're going to be praying whilst we're there. And we trust our Father, so we know that we're going to be okay. But um, yeah, so that's, I know that's a question that a lot of people ask me. Every time I mention it, their face just, are you sure you want to go to South Korea? But yeah, so I'm really, really excited. I really am. And um, we're going to be videoing whilst we're there as well. So, oh yeah, and whilst vlogging. we're there, vlogging. vlogging, oh, that's what it's called. Whilst we're there, we're going to go to Jeju Island as well for a couple of days. That's like an island offshore from South Korea as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go there for a couple of days. That's more like the beachy sort of area. Nice. Yeah, so we're going to go there for a couple of days. I'm excited about that as well. Um, I'm excited else? about trying the food then. Because yeah. it's especially black pork. Yeah, and I heard that their pizzas are not actually like our pizzas. Yeah, it's like different, like potatoes and pizzas and things like that. So I'm yeah. really interested to see how it tastes. Yeah. I might come back a bit fatter, but hey, no, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch my dad come get fat. But so in preparation for our trip, Shanika here has been packing since the beginning of March. I don't understand why that is such a big deal. Shanika, I like is, to prepare. I know, but I like two months. Prepare. I know, but like March, April, May. That's like nearly three months in a Let's 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 get this clear. What happened the last time I went Lanzarote and I was over prepared? Yeah, okay. Lost my suitcase and because you brought extra stuff, I was able to use the stuff. So do not cast the But nonetheless, Shanika, three months is a bit too much. Like It's not. It is. It's really I, sometimes I even wait till like a couple of days or even the night before. Okay, not, not the night before, a couple of days before I go. Listen, I think you should always be prepared, know what you want, know what you think. You iron, you pack the certain way, you make sure you don't get anything, everything is organised, prepared, you know an outfit for each day. You might change when you're there, but at least you know you have something in mind. No, but she's actually packed to the point where, you know when you put the towel on top of your clothes and you kick the thing? 
I'm gonna show you a video. She's actually packed to that stain. That's just a bit too much for a bit. Things can't be done. But at least I don't forget anything. True. True. So here I am in Shanika's room, and as you can see, she has already packed her suitcase. She is such a neek. Let's see this neek over there. I'm actually not a neek. You actually are. Prepared. You've actually been packed since two months ago. Two months ago? Last month. Yes. That's just ridiculous. That's not ridiculous. Towards the other suitcase. I can't believe you're packed. You're such a neek. Who does that? Look at that, look at that. Look at the padlocks even on the suitcase. Uh. That was always there, like from since the last time you like, went. But it's packed. Like, You're so neaky. Packed. Let me see this one. Oh my gosh, Nico. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so when we come back, because I can't edit the videos whilst I'm there, I'm not about to be taking my laptop with me over there. So when we come back, I'm going to edit the videos and then obviously I'm going to share with you our, our experiences. Um, any funny stories? Yeah, any funny stories. We could have bad experiences. I'm 100% I'm sure that we're going to have great experiences. experiences. I will let you know she does make somebody. Oh, she's, she's not serious with life. No, that is not my intention for going. <laughs> Are you sure? Just to make it clear, yes. That's not my intention for going. I do find them attractive, but I do find Korean guys very attractive. I do. But that's not my intention for going. But um, yeah, so I'll edit the videos when we come back and you can have a watch. So um, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to keep up to date. Um, what else? What else did you want to say? Nothing. Yeah, and that's it. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh yeah, hold on. And Yogi Gisea.